Hi, I'm Jamie Wall with the entertainment news for Tuesday. Tonight, more highlights from the Olympic Arts Festival, but first, trivia. What movie was the screen debut of Eddie Murphy? Last night, the Joffrey Ballet opened its three-night run at the Jubilee. The Joffrey is one of America's top ballet companies. And because their repertoire is so large and varied, they are doing 11 different ballets over the three shows. This is Petrushka, a Russian ballet that first debuted in 1911. It's the story of marionettes that turn out to be more human than you'd imagine. Gerald Arpino, the company's resident choreographer and associate director, has been with the Joffrey since it began in 1956. Dance is the most universal language of any of the arts. It's, before we spoke, we moved. And I think people recognize when one extends their hand in a, in a friendly gesture, or when one pulls back, or when one strikes at someone. That's movement. That's, that's saying what is inside uh, our souls and in, inside our beings. Opening tonight at the University Theater is a delightful play without words called Streetlights. Streetlights from the Arete physical comedy troupe, especially for the Olympics. The play is about 24 hours on a city street. The people and their lives by night and day. And it's all done in mime. In trivia today, the question was, what movie was the screen debut of Eddie Murphy? The answer is 48 Hours, which came out in 82. Eddie was voted top box office draw for 1987 by the movie distributors in their annual poll. For the Entertainment Report, I'm Jamie Wall.